for corporate India on that particular front. But more taxing times and more charges there, where hearing uh, the restaurant services charges case, the Delhi High Court has directed a stay on the CCPA guidelines, which means that restaurants are free to levy service charge till the next hearing of the case. My colleague Ashmit Kumar has been focusing on this development. Ashmit, it, this matter is of, uh, you know, importance and interest to all of us here. Uh, so tell us, when is the next hearing and how is the hearing going in that, in what direction, how important is this particular hearing? Well, just for the benefit of our viewers, if we can give some context, uh, the CCPA, the Central uh, Consumer Protection Authority, had come out with guidelines barring the levy of service charged by restaurants. Subsequently, the matter reached the High Court, and the High Court in the month of July had stayed those guidelines, allowing the restaurants uh, to continue uh, levying service charge. That order, that stay order, was challenged and then was heard again once a day. And today, again, uh, while the CCPA pressed on uh, for, in fact, uh, vacating that stay, for uh, levying, uh, for, their, uh, for ensuring a ban, a bar on levy of service charge, uh, the Delhi High Court so far uh, has not obliged. The Delhi High Court has allowed for that uh, stay order to continue. So the restaurants, as of today, can continue to go on and uh, charge service, uh, uh, levy service charge. The next hearing, we understand, is on August 31st. Uh, but having said that, uh, there was... Uh, a fierce exchange of arguments between the two sides. Uh, the CCPA argued uh, that the levy of service charge, they received lacks of complaints, uh, that this affects uh, consumer welfare, uh, that as far as uh, levy is concerned, the restaurants are free to, in fact, raise the prices of uh, uh, their, uh, their commodities, their, uh, their, uh, but that service charge is simply unsustainable, that the CCPA is acting within its powers. The restaurants on their part said that, look, this is a practice that's been carried on for over 70 years, uh, that any increase in prices would ultimately uh, benefit uh, Zomato, uh, the likes of Zomato, Swiggy delivery applications, and went on to say that, look, government has no business controlling prices or charges that are levied by uh, restaurants. These are private contracts entered into between restaurants and customers. Uh, the Delhi High Court uh, gave an interesting observation, however. The Delhi High Court observed that restaurants are bound in law uh, to pay their employees and that that obligation cannot be transferred uh, to the customers that... Uh, that service charge, that tips essentially is a discretionary feature and cannot be made compulsory. That was an observation that fell from the High Court. But nonetheless, uh, the stay continues. Uh, restaurants free to charge service charge. And uh, the next hearing, we understand, will be on August 31st. And we'll come back to you, Ashmit, for those updates. And, you know, Nisha, as we were discussing, uh, as Ashmit also said, one of the arguments was add it to the commodity or the product prices, but don't charge it as a service charge. But and the price looks inflated, <laughs> so you add it when the bill comes. So that is also uh, one no, way I of agree. Uh, charging agree. And more. a lot of hotels or restaurants, for ma that matter, even after this uh, ruling that had come out, would say, sorry, we will still charge you service uh, charge. It's not an optional thing anymore.